Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name's Michaela, and today I'm going to be showing you my October TBR. I'm not a big fan of TBRs, I am more of a mood reader, but I did go through on my Instagram. I asked people, what are books that are sort of Halloween but make it horny? Spooky but slutty. So that's the vibe of this video. There's going to be a lot of dark romance, a couple of YA, a few little bits and bobs, and a couple of rereads for me as well. We'll jump right in with the first series that I'm hoping to read, and that is A Good Girl's Guide to Murder by Holly Jackson. I did a poll on my Instagram, and there was an overwhelming number of people saying they did want to see a reading vlog of me reading this series. A Good Girl's Guide to Murder, Good Girl, Bad Blood, As Good as Dead, and Killjoy. You have watched my Lifeline Book Fest book haul. Link it up here if you want. I managed to find all of the Karen Rose romantic suspense series, so I definitely want to continue on with that. The book that I'm up to is Count to Ten. Two books I have owned forever, and they are from Book Outlet, which I haven't ordered from them in like how many years. So that really proves how long they've been sitting on my shelf. But Envy Trail by Greg Olson. I want to say yes. So if this is twins and they, I don't think it's paranormal, but I remember when I read it years and years ago, there was some like weird telepathy that they had between them. It's like an online bullying sort of scenario. I can't remember. It's been so long since I read it. Do I even have, oh my God, look, I've got it up to chapter seven. I'll obviously restart it. And then this one I think was based on the Natalie Holloway case. Maybe I want to say, I don't think that the series was continued on after this. I feel like there is just the two books. The next series will be a reread for me. It is by SJ Tilly. It is her Sin series. Now this is the one that kind of like doesn't get as much love. I feel like I don't see as much about these books. But this is Romantic Suspense. It's really good. Connected World. This one is a like billionaire romance, his cousin slash enforcer. This one's probably the most like suspenseful one out of all of them, I feel. The brother of the main character from the first book. So they're all interconnected. They all fit into the Tillyverse and I absolutely loved them. We read them recently, but I feel like I could read them again, definitely. They also are just the prettiest covers. I absolutely love them. So yeah, the Sin series by SJ Tilly is definitely on my radar for spooky season. Last up for my physical books is going to be The Ravens by Cass Morgan and Danielle Page is set in a sorority. They are sorority of all witches. Names in this like really funny. Yeah, Scarlet Winter and Vivi Devereaux. So you just know it's going to be a banging good time when they're in Savannah, Georgia. And this is the sort of cover we're getting. I mean, it's giving Gossip Girl, but like make it magic -y. Do you know what I mean? So I'll report back with my findings. Hopefully I will read this one. I also have a massive list here and I'm going to be using my laptop to pull up synopsises of the books. Synopsi, synopsis, synopsis. Eight who runs the romantically inclined meme page. And I also appear every month on her podcast. I'll link that down below. Recommended the book Run Posey Run by Kate C. Wells. Posey can run but she isn't made to be free. She's made for me and when I catch her, game over. So I mean, very anti-feminist novel, but I will let you know if I enjoy it and if you should just turn off the feminism in your brain for the duration of this book. Then we have Nightshade by Kerry Lake. This was recommended to me and I think I'm buddy reading this with one of my friends. The tagline for this is a love so forbidden it could shake the heavens. So it looks like we've sort of got this paranormal romance of another world being obscured in the human world called the Nightshade. By the looks of things she only has one love interest named Jericho Van Croy. Oh my god these names I just like why am I not living in a dark romance novel? What would my name be? Let's not even ponder on that. Let's just keep it moving. I want to read Haunting Adeline by H.D. Carlton. I did read that book that she did last year. I read that during spooky season. Um, this is about the guy. I'm pretty sure his name's like Zaid. Zaid is from the first book. We meet him. I want to say, but I know that it's sort of like an intertwined universe. Weird, fucked up book where this is just absolutely no basis for real life. If a man treats you like this, you better fucking run. I'm actually about 30% of the way through this one and I want to finish it up because it's like perfect for this time of the year and that is Clown in the Cornfield by Adam Cesar. This is like a slasher, small town, scream vibes. I mean look at the cover alone and I know that the second book has just come out. The character that we've got is Quinn, she's kind of a transplant to this town and there's this group of kids who they seem like to just be into YouTube and like weird shit like that. They're always like the class clowns kind of getting in trouble. There was an incident that occurred in the first chapter which I think is going to have something to do maybe with the overall mystery. Nobody's died yet. It's 30%. Well, someone has died, but no one has been like killed yet. And it's 30% of the way. And I'm like, let's get to the murder. Captor in the Attic by Felicity Brandon has sort of caught my attention. I think that this is a hired killer slash bad man weird thing versus, not versus, the love interest will be a female detective working on the cases of people who are being killed. The guy might be a bit of a vigilante. 
Once again, I will read it and report back. This is why I never do TBR. Sinful Justice by Amelia Finn, another one that sounds exactly up my alley in terms of that. We've got here, Murderer, Vigilante, or Seeker of Justice. I don't even need to read anymore. Minka Mayette, Copeland City's newest appointed chief medical examiner. That was also, I loved that idea as well, that she was a chief medical examiner. Um, so she was kind of removed from the mystery, but sort of a part of it as well. I don't know, I'm just unvibing these sort of things. I love books that it's like criminal minds, but they fuck. It's definitely like a whoop, whoop. We're doing a 180 and it is Pumpkin Everything by Beth Labonte. I do love a pumpkin spice latte. And I was actually asked by about two or three Americans if we had different, like a flipped season. No, we just get it at the same time as everyone else. Like we only just got pink drinks in this country probably like a year ago. And I had one for the first time last weekend. What the fuck? Are you guys okay? Like, what are you drinking? But I do love a pumpkin spice latte because it's like caffeinated. Not that someone like me needs any more caffeine, let's be real. But I just thought that this was kind of cute. It was sort of autumnal. I just wanted to be a part of my friends, like experience for fall guys, even though I'm sweating, I'm sweating. And then last, but definitely not least, because I was recommended this so many times, it is The Never King by Nikki St. Crow. I, once again, I'm coming to you saying I don't really know too much about this book. The tags on Goodreads are fantasy romance, Fae. I always love Fae. I'm always down for a bit of forest Fae fucking. Shout out to my friend Kate, my OG bitch. That's actually my chat name on Facebook was forest Fae fucking because I'm always like, I just want to see Fae fucking in the forest. Is it too much to ask? Let me know if you have any of those recommendations for me down below. Just not Akatar because I've already read that. It didn't satisfy the forest witch in me. This one starts off with the stories were all wrong, Hook was never the villain. So the Darling women are have disappeared on their 18th birthday. Good for them, honestly. I hope that they're having a lot of fun. I hope that they've got a lot of boyfriends who are like super hot. And I mean, with a couple like that, this just screams spooky season, baby. <laughs> really hope that you enjoyed this video, guys. Like I said, I never do TBR videos because I never know what I'm in the mood for reading. I tried, I really tried to like focus my brain and tell you some things. I hope that I gave you a couple of ideas of books and I will definitely be updating you on everything that I have read from this list. If I don't get to them, maybe I'll get to them next year. Who knows? Fingers crossed. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. I hope that you're having a wonderful day wherever you are in the world. Lots of love, hugs and kisses. Bye.